2017, Crash Bandicoot got its first three games remastered on the PlayStation 4. One year after, it comes out on other platforms, and then Spyro gets the same treatment. One year after that, Crash Team Racing comes out. And then, just last year, we had Crash 4 come out. And it disregards rather Cortex and onwards. Since PlayStation decided to skip E3 once again for 2021, we saw no confirmation for 2021 or 2022 Spiral game. But we're going to talk about the next best thing. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to take a look at a past game that didn't get remastered. And that, of course, is the one that plummeted this series into the deepest pits of hell. Spiral into a dumpster fire. Why do I call it a dumpster fire? Because that's what it is. This game has no reason to be called a good game at all. It's not even so bad it's good. It doesn't just have flaws. It's really that bad of a game. Now, if you don't know about how this happened, allow me to align you a bit about the history of the Spyro games before this point. On the PS1, the developer team Insomniac made the original game in 1997 called Spyro the Drugan, where the treacherous nasty was watching the dragons talking absolute shit about him, and then he gets butthurt and goes Darren mode and turns them into crystal. So now it's up to Spyro to go and save them, because for some reason he didn't get turned into crystal, because <laughs> what's he gonna do? Blow bubble breath. After that, we get to Spyro 2. Rip those power complex. Where Spyro goes to a portal and goes to the beach while other people on the other side of the world want to bring a dragon to help them with Ripto. While Hunter shakes in his fur, like the pussy he is, and the portal brings Spyro to their world, then Ripto finds out there's a dragon there and gets scared and destroys the portal to keep him from leaving. Now it's up to Spyro to save the day once again. This time we're collecting talismans to unlock a door to face Ripto head on and pull him into a freaking lava pit. At the same time, we're collecting orbs by helping people in other worlds to power up our portal and return home. Then finally, we have Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Couldn't come up with a joke for this one. In the game, a rabbit named Bianca, who knows magic, is stealing dragon eggs for her master, who's going to kill them by ripping off their wings and making a spell. So that way she can become immortal. So it's up to Spyro to save the dragon eggs. Later in the game, Bianca actually turns good and helps Spyro to return her dragon eggs. And so this ends the trilogy with whatever came out from this game right here. This game came out on the PS2, which is what I'm going to be playing, and the GameCube. There was plans for a PC and an Xbox version, but it never happened. Now remember, I talked to you about the past games just so you could see how the story of this game ties within the last three. So let's go ahead, give this a go. So let's start up a game and pick a save icon. Yeah, that will do nicely. Oh boy, these graphics are pretty decent for the- <laughs> Never mind. The story begins with the party celebrating the defeat of the sorceress, also the day that the baby dragons get their fireflies. These fireflies basically act as protectors for the younger dragons. Basically puts healthcare providers with wings. Ah, okay, okay. Our goal is to rescue dragonflies. I gotcha, game. I gotcha. Now, remember what I told you what happened with Crypto before? Exactly. So what in the mother of holy... Fuck! Are you doing here? Okay, let's go save some dragonflies. Oh, was this thing over here? Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. Wait, 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 wait. Say that. Say that again, Bianca, because I didn't quite hear you right. He'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. I just mentioned you. Is this an omen? Okay, so in order to catch dragonflies, we need to cage them in bubbles. But the dragonflies run away from you. And all I have to ask is, WHY? The dragonflies must know who Spyro is, or at least one of the other dragons. So why would they run away exactly? They're shy? Why would they be shy for someone that they already know? You can tell that they are shitheads, because when you try and catch them, they run away and mock you. 
While on topic, let's explain this game's new features. For one, we have multiple elemental breaths, that being fire like we always had, ice and bubble of course, like I mentioned, electric. And having certain breaths will unlock different locked gates, as well as open different challenge portals, so that way we can free a dragonfly from them. Here's the thing though, I don't find much use for these except for the bubble breath, because it's needed to catch the dragonflies. Except, more often than not, you're going to miss the dragonfly because of bad hit detection. However, this isn't the only new feature, because we also now have a new control style. We have a headbutt. By pressing the jump button and the flutter button without gliding, you can make Sparrow bash his head on the- Did I just go through the floor? Hang on, hang on, hello. This can't be right. This has to be a fluke. I'm, I'm going to try this again. You gotta be kidding me. You can beat this game in less than five minutes? That's why this game was so bad. This could have been decent if the developers cared enough, but no, they rushed it out just for it to be dead on arrival. Alright, that's enough of that shit. This game's bad. It's just real bad. It doesn't deserve to be in the Spyro franchise at all. Like, the glitch is up the hole. Doesn't follow the story of the last game, because somehow Ripto survives lava. Really lags a lot, too. And other than that, it's just bad. What grade would I give this? A D minus. That's what this gets. Would not recommend that you pick this up, unless you really just looking to put this in your collection. That's all I see this being good for. Being a shelf filler. That's all I see this being. So, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure y'all subscribe so you don't miss any uploads because I try to make videos every month. Until then, I'll holler at y'all later.